Hi, welcome to another video. So, most of you might remember Open Hands. It was previously known as Open Devon and was quickly scaffolded after the Devon launch. Basically, it tried to be an open source alternative to it. After some time, it was renamed to Open Hands, which was kind of cool as well. Although, it never really worked well for me. I guess it did for many people, which was fine and all. However, recently, many people started to use Claude Code, and that's why you saw that a lot of alternatives to Claude Code, like Open Code, started to appear. Now, Open Hands also has its own alternative called Open Hands CLI. Open Hands CLI is a very similar CLI tool to Claude Code. It allows you to use any model, which is not possible with Claude Code as easily. It is based on the same open hands principles, though it won't use the browser and stuff like that. It will be a simple coder, similar to what Claude Code is. They say that this CLI provides a powerful interface that lets you engage with open hands directly from your terminal. It is also open source, by the way, and they say that it enables real time interaction with open hands agents. You can type natural language tasks, use interactive commands, and receive instant feedback, all inside your terminal. There are a ton of commands that it has, and it also has the initialize command, similar to Claude Code, for context of the project and stuff like that. Now, let me show you how it works, and how you can use it as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, First Frame AI. First Frame is a crazy AI tool that brings all the best video creation tools together in one place for one price. It features models like VO2, Kling, HiLuo, and many more that you can use to generate stunning videos. It also has a movie generator that allows you to create entire movies with multiple AI-generated clips and make a cohesive short film with just one prompt. You can even create GIFs to share with others in seconds. The best part about it is the movie generator that can literally generate whole short movies for you. It gives you access to all kinds of video generation models for just $13 per month, giving you about 3,000 credits monthly. There's also the $34 diamond plan that gives you even higher limits. It gets even cheaper if you choose the annual plan. You can also use my coupon code AIKING25 to get an additional 25% discount on these already great deals. Make sure you check them out through the link in the description and build some cool stuff with it. Now, back to to the video. First of all, to install it, you can easily install it with the pip install command, or you can also install it in a Docker container if you wish to do that. So just do that, and then you can just start it with the open hands command. The first time you start it, it will ask you to select the provider and model. It is recommended to use the Anthropic models but I like to use the O3 or Gemini 2.5 Pro model. So I can just select the custom provider and then we can just type in Gemini and then we'll need to select the model. I'll be using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model here. So let's just select that and now we are done. We can see the main stuff over here. You can obviously give it the prompt for anything, but there are also some commands the first command that I want to show you is Settings. Settings will open up the option to select between Advanced and Basic. You can also see the provider and model that you are using here, along with the option to choose between Basic and Advanced options. Basic will just show you the default model selector options, while Advanced will allow you to add custom model endpoints and stuff like that. Another option that you have is the status option, which will show you the total costs, input tokens, output tokens, and stuff like that. I think that it uses light LLM, and it is quite accurate in that sense. Anyway, you also get the slash help options, which just prints the commands and what they do. You also have a slash new option that removes the previous conversations and starts a new thread of conversation. You also get init, which initializes a new repository for you. 
You also have an exit option to exit, and there's also an option of resume that resumes a pause task or resumes an old thread, which is also great. Now, let me show you how you can use it as well. Using it is quite simple. You can just type in whatever it is that you want to do. So, let's ask it to make me a simple Minesweeper game. This is going to be a simple one, and I'm just doing it to show you how it all works. Anyway, here, you can see that it will just go ahead and do some stuff and tool calls. It doesn't ask for approvals, which can be a bummer, but it's fine for me. Anyway, in a bit, it gets done. And you can see that it says task completed and everything like that as well, which is quite awesome. I mean, you can see the stuff done over here. And if we run this, then you can see that it worked quite well. Now, see, at this point, I am unable to tell the difference between all these coders. Because, at the surface level, everyone seems the same to me. Though, this seems quite a bit better than open code. And like on the level of Ader and Claude code, while being lighter and faster. Though, this might be subjective. Open code generally is a one turn conversation model, and you need to keep asking it to resume and go ahead. However, this is very auto agentic, similar to Claude code and Ader. So, that is good. But that doesn't mean that it is the best because there are quite some shortcomings. Like, a major one is that it doesn't support MCP. Yes, you can't add the MCP servers and stuff like that over here, which is pretty bad if you ask me, if you're using it for real tasks. So, that is some shortcoming. It also doesn't seem to have an SDK either, which is something that OpenCode and Claude Code both have, which is also a shortcoming. I mean, I use the Claude Code SDK a lot as well. So, that is also quite good. Apart from this, there's also a plus point, which is that it is quite optimized to work with the DevStrel model, which is a local model by Mistral, developed with inputs from the Open Hands team. It is really good with their implementations. Like, DevStrel works really well with this CLI which is awesome if you like to use local models for implementation and basic coding, like doing basic terminal commands and stuff like that. So, that is also something that you can try out. That is majorly how it works. I have used it, and it is faster and quite good as well. You can try it out, and it works quite well with Gemini in most cases, which is an issue with open code. So, you can check this out, and it works quite well. I am still trying it out and found it quite useful and quite lightweight as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.